Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Corico Couch, a brand new series that will hopefully become your go-to vodcast for everything mortgage-related with me, Monty. I'm delighted today to be joined on The Corico Couch by Ang Nguyen. Now, Ang, did I pronounce that right? How how do you actually pronounce your surname properly? Yeah, I think I think you made a good good attempt at it. It's uh, Ang Nguyen, right? Uh, Vietnamese name, um, and all all Vietnamese words are one syllable. You see, so okay. although it's spelt like it's got three syllables, it's you say Ang Nguyen. Um, there you go. Yeah, there you go. And I've worked with you for how long? 12, 12 odd <laughs> 12 years. years. <laughs> well, there but, you go. I'll remember that. So, Ang is one of our partners and senior brokers here at Corico. Uh, one of those guys you just can't help getting along with. Uh, Ang joined Corico in October 2012, I believe it was. Yeah, just after the Olympics. Bringing a wealth of experience and knowledge, having spent the last decade in financial services. The feedback from Ang's clients invariably point to three key attributes, knowledge, efficiency, and availability. So, Ang, welcome to the Corico Couch. Uh, I hope you're nice and comfortable here there. Yep, it's good to be here. Thanks. Good. And we're going to talk today about remortgages. And this is really important for a lot of people who have got their first property, they're in their home, they're enjoying it, they might have taken out, say, a five-year fixed rate, and then they suddenly get to the point where they think, oh, wow, my rate's expiring. What do I do? Um, so do you want to talk through what a remortgage actually is? Yeah, sure. So a remortgage is when a person moves lender but keeps the existing property. Yeah. So, you know, you might do that because, like you said, your fixed rate's coming to an end. And when fixed rates come to an end, you that you remove to what's called the lender standard variable rate. Yeah. And that carries a huge premium on it. So it's very rare, if 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 at all sensible, to to go on to that standard variable rate because it's 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 expensive and there's always, almost always a better option. That's one of the one of the main reasons that people obviously remortgage. Um, what's the sort of process? How far in advance do do you recommend that your clients start thinking about it? When when would you start talking to them? And what's, what's the process there? Well, I think it makes sense to start thinking about and planning for, you know, what to do when your fixed rate or, or tracker rate or whatever product you are on um, comes to an end about six months beforehand. Yeah. Doesn't mean you actually have to you know, take action straight away, but mm. it's good to have it on your mind and and be be prepared uh, so that you have a plan. And what's your process at that point? What do what do you, what do you do then as a as a broker for the for the client? Uh, so normally, I you know give a call or, or have a face to face meeting and just just have a general chit chat about how they've been in the property, what their plans are. Because you know people's lives and their their plans change over yeah, time, and absolutely. it's always good to have a, a catch up to know what their priorities are. You know, if they're planning to stay, then you know we can discuss you know the best, most efficient product to to move on to. If they're thinking about moving house, again, you know we we discuss the the, the best lenders and the best products to maybe move on to temporarily before you before you move house. So mm. you know that, that's the sort of thing we do six months in advance of that when. The fixed rate actually comes to an end. There's no surprises. You don't end up on that really expensive standard yeah. level rate and so on. Yeah. So what you would do is review, you look at the whole market as well. Would you also look at what the existing lender, what yeah. their existing lender offers? And can you help in that instance as well? Yeah. So, you know, the the benefit of coming or the benefit to my clients of speaking to me is that they just come to one place and I guide them through the market, the whole process, et cetera. Um, you know, we will look at their existing lender because their existing lender will often um, give them the option of what's called a product transfer. Right, okay. So that means you you stay with your existing lender, but rather than them putting you on their standard variable rate, they say, okay, stay with us and we'll offer you these, these deals. So, you know, there'll be various fixed deals or mm. tracker deals, et cetera. Um, and sometimes, you know, they're the very best on the market. But often clients don't know, they don't know how to compare it. So that's why they come to me because I'll say, okay, to stay with your lender, they'll offer you this, but you could potentially get 
a better rate elsewhere. Yeah. And if there's a, a large difference in pricing, then they might be happy to, to move lenders. Uh, or if their existing lender has the best rate or there's a very small difference in pricing, then they might be happy to stay with their lender for the convenience. Mm. And uh, you spoke about that convenience. Mm. Is, there, is there a massive difference then in actually remortgaging versus staying with your existing lender in terms of paperwork and, and stuff like that? Um, it can be a bit scary for clients, you know, thinking about moving lenders, etc. But if, if you go to a good broker who prepares you and um, you know what you're doing, it's not too difficult. So um, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's particularly difficult to move lenders, but it is very convenient to stay with your existing lender because there's no underwriting required, mm. there's no um, valuations required, there's no legal work required. And you pretty much guarantee that when your existing deal comes to an end, it will seamlessly move to a, a new product mm. if you stay with your existing lender. And it's not just about the, the deal or the rate, is it? Because a lot of people, um, a, a lot of my clients, when they, when they come to the end, they might look at what their existing lender's offering and just think, oh, okay, I can just switch on to that rate. That's quite cheap. But what they don't think about is things like the actual mortgage term or if they're on interest only, do they want to go on to repayment? Or if they're on a repayment, they want to go on to interest only. So there's, a, there's all those things at remortgage as well that that you can do. Do you want to just talk through what sort of options people have at the remortgage stage. It might be that they want to raise some more money. Yeah. So look, when you remortgage, you've got to think about it as here's your chance to revisit everything about your mortgage. Yeah, so, that's a great point. So, you know, like I said, people's change, uh, circumstances change. They might have had pay rises. They might be in a much better sort of financial position now and they want to pay their mortgage off quicker because the faster you pay off your mortgage, the less interest you yeah. pay overall, right? Yeah. So when we come to remortgage, we'll discuss, you know, potentially reducing the term if it's affordable because we try to do everything to budget. Um, you know, if they're thinking about, I don't know, moving house within the next year or so, we discuss lenders that are, you know, have good criteria for porting, for example, or, mm. or lenders with uh, products with no penalty, but a good rate. So again, you know, they're things yeah. that we can discuss. And yeah, like you said, you know, we can we can discuss any anything that's on, on a client's mind and, and give mm. give bespoke advice for, for their uh, specific position. And do you see a lot of your clients wanting to borrow more at that, at that point? Uh, yeah, so, you know, there's clients... Look, it, nowadays, it, it can be very expensive to move house with stamp yeah. duty and everything like that. <laughs> yeah. So we, we have a lot of clients who who want to raise money to build an extension and, you know, we can we can help with that. Uh, we've got clients who, I don't know, perhaps have some debt that they'd like to consolidate uh, just, just to help with, with you know, monthly costs, et cetera. Again, we can help with that and, you know, we discuss the pros and cons of that, um, mm. you know, compared to leaving it on a unsecured credit card mm. or something. And some people, it, it, it's, a, it's a different environment and dependent on when you're watching this, the interest rate environment might be slightly different. But um, if you're coming off a lower fixed rate and looking at mortgage environment where prices are more expensive, I guess there might be some worry that actually, oh, my payments are going up. Is that part of what you do as well is, is your skill to try and mitigate those those increases? It's really important to speak to a broker now in this type of environment because we're going from a, a low interest rate environment to, to actually what they call the norm historically yeah. of, yeah, of rates between sort of 3 to 5%. Yeah. And it, 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 it does come as a shock. And, you know, I think I have a lot of clients who know that they're deals coming to an end. The, the, the press has been quite good at making people aware that rates are going up. But, you know, clients often, they they have this sinking feeling in their tummy that they know, you know, <laughs> yeah. my, my deal is coming to an end and yeah. they don't know how bad it's going to be. But, you know, it's, it, once the clients speak to us, we can tell them, you know, in black and white, what, what, what change is going to happen to their monthly payment, hmm. um, what they can do to prepare for it, what we can do to, to help keep the cost down as low, low as possible, etc. And then after having a conversation with us, you know, once, once, once they know what it means and that they can prepare for it, they, they feel a lot better, mm. I find. And you've been a broker for quite a while now. Yeah, longer longer than I uh, can remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think about twenty years now. Yeah, right. So, what do you what do you enjoy most about about your job? 
I just like talking to people, you know, yeah. I, I, I like helping people, helping them achieve their goals. Um, you know, often clients come to me as first time buyers and, and I, I see them through the whole process of starting a family, buying a bigger home for their, them mm. and their family. I, you know, I, I get a, a great deal of satisfaction from that because, you know, I, I, I know it's a, a dream for a lot of people to own a house, to buy a property, and sometimes they feel it's it's so far away. And mm. I, it gives me a lot of satisfaction when, you know, they speak to me and they realize, well, actually, this is possible. You know, I, I can get the financing. Um, and, you know, that that makes my day, really, yeah. when, when things go well. Brilliant. <laughs> well, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Oh, okay. So, well, there you go. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much, Hank. Um, Join us next time to see who's on the Corico couch. <laughs>